I'll be your new day. They wanna smell like me, they want my bouquet. But they can't, they accent it like the UK. Turn that new day, new baby, new baby, look you spray. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's my man Ashy right here. It's good, man. It's good, it's good. One more boys, we go back at least three years. Produce, tutoring, little kids on the weekends. Shout out you and CC. <laughs> I always heard he had like a clothing line, but I never really paid attention. And now we're here. We're mm here. -hmm. Yeah. So let, let's get started. You know, give me your little bio, you know, your name, what you do, where you from, you know, fun fact, all that. So I am Ashy Creator from Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful home. <laughs> Let's see, been doing art for as long as I can remember. Started with like architecture. Like I was uh, in high school, I did like, uh, I went to a trade school. So, uh, well it was more like college prep school, so they had like different majors you could pick like in college and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I was like more towards the engineering and architecture path. I mean, I was drawn before that, but I really, really got into it, yeah. And I had a graphics teacher, and she like really put me into it. I designed her logos for her business and everything. And that's like, like it all popped out, it was real. Like we had a, uh, like a little website for our school. They got me to film the video and all that stuff. And then, ever since then, I've like, yeah, I love doing it. I love doing it, yeah, yeah. So that's crazy, so um, you said you was like engineering. So like, Explain, I guess, how kind of how you feel engineering. Yeah, it's a weird plan, right? right? Yeah. Everybody yeah. always asks me that. Uh, well, the name of my like creative company is Creative Genius. Mm -hmm. So it's always been like a blend between science and art for me. Like I've always been like a person who uses both sides of my brain, being creative, but I'm also like really smart, have like a borderline genius IQ. So it's like, uh, you know, I just always find ways to blend the two of them together. Mm -hmm. Even like when I'm drawing, I think about it in a technical way. I plan everything out before I do it. The way I do events, all that stuff is like very strategic, but I also make sure like I let my creative self be expressed through all of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably it's probably crazy when people see you paint and then you say like you're like engineering science. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I know me personally like it gets like that when I or like even when I'm at my intern, I'm like, oh yeah, I was on the radio and I got like this group that yeah. art events, they're like, what? Hey, look at the look at the how? Like how do you find ways to it is, I don't know, it's always been like this. It's just natural for me. It's not like something I have to forge. It just comes to, like, people say I overanalyze everything, but hey, <laughs> it's like, right? It's like. <laughs> so, what do you feel? So, do you feel, what do you feel inspired at all? Like, was it like some, a certain person that kind of inspired you to, like, okay, I want to do architecture, engineering, but I want to paint and everything, mm -hmm. too? Well, I don't, I've always been into. Like I always wanted to be architect when I was younger, so like I always was fascinated with buildings and mm -hmm. bridges and all that stuff. So that was that, and then just like every other '90s baby, I grew up watching mm -hmm. like Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff, and I would just watch the shows and be like, "Yo, this is amazing!" and try to like redraw the characters. And then after a while, once I got a hang of it, I started putting like my own twist on the characters and all that stuff. And then before you knew it, I was just creating my own people from scratch. Uh, yeah, I always I started off like purely as a cartoon artist, but then when I got older, I got to a point where I realized that I didn't know how to draw women. So it was always like men or like strange creatures and all that stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna spend like the next two years drawing women. This is like uh, in 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. So yeah, start I just like draw only women, but then I and then like yeah, I kind of draw women ever since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like I'm at the point like. I only draw guys if I have to now. Yeah. So I cut that check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. But I mean, uh, I don't know why. I, I I'm like starting to get back into like drawing cartoons and stuff like that. Just cause like, alright, let me not start channeling myself into one lane. So uh, like this next event I have coming up, is, the theme is fruit. So you know that's like a little different. Like the focus is on women, but uh, when people people come see. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so speaking of your 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 event, uh, explain what you mean by the fruit. Explain, go into detail okay. about that. So the the name of the event, the well, it's a collection. Mm -hmm. The name of the collection is Fruits of Our Labor, and it, like like it sounds, it's centralized around fruit, just mm -hmm. shapes, the colors, the beauty, just the texture of it. So like the 
we're like headlining it as the freshest and healthiest art show on the planet. So like, uh, yeah, so it's just like, you know, just how fruits are involved in all aspects of our life and just the beauty of fruits in themselves, like, you know, how they grow, the shapes they take, and like, just like, they could all be the same fruit, just like people, they could all be the same type of fruit, but mm -hmm. they all look different, even though they're the same fruit. Yeah. So, you know, it's just really cool. So I thought I would like use that to like represent just people. So yeah, uh, the event's gonna be Saturday, September 10th. And it's gonna be Uptown Charlotte. It's gonna be fruit, food, drinks, <laughs> art. I'm gonna be showcasing uh, some photography I've been working on, some paintings, uh, music from just some local artists that I know. And yeah, pretty much it. My friend's gonna be uh, premiering like a prototype of his this product he's been working on. Ooh. So yeah, it's like a gadget. So it's gonna be a lot of things going on. It's gonna be pretty dope. We have like a violinist coming to perform, yeah, EDM producer, all types of things. It's gonna be pretty dope. So you have to come definitely check it out. Yeah, yeah. See the vibes through out there. Vibes. Yeah, we'll out there for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, so you mentioned how you did the painting, photography, mm -hmm. um, you do graphic design as well. So which one do you feel like you enjoy more, and which one do you feel like? Is like your best one. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I had this conversation with myself like every day. <laughs> uh, let's see, enjoy the most is probably definitely gonna have to be film, mm -hmm. just because of like all the thought that goes into putting in a film. Like you have to think, you, you just like I said, I put the science and with everything, mm -hmm. just strategically planning out. Like with film, you have to have every single part of it planned out before you even start to film. You have to know yeah. what you want to look like at the end, you, want to know who, you got to know who's going to be in it, what you want the characters to be like, the setting, all that stuff. So it's always just like the whole part of like putting a film together and seeing it, the final product, like I always feel like that was the most satisfying. Mm -hmm. But the best that, I don't know man, I feel like all my work sucks. <laughs> like to be real, I always look at my work and I'm like, oh man. Shitty, I gotta do better. So you don't know like which one you I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like different people will come up to me and like, oh man, I like I like your little photography collection you just shot. Or some people like a lot of people always commission painting, so I do like shoots for people. So I don't know. I like it all. It's all the same to me. It's all art. So, you know, just through a different medium. Okay. Yeah. So, like photography to film to Painting is like looking at oil paint versus acrylic to me. It's all the same. But, you know, the final product is all. You know, I'm still expressing myself creatively. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Um, so, what's. Oh, yeah. Explain, I guess, how you. Your love for art, how you turn that into like your business. Like, how you. Or you different. You talked about okay. your business earlier. Right. Explain uh, that kind of transition. So, like I said, I've always been like doing drawing stuff since I was like. Seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first, my first experience with like making money off of art is probably like seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I think I started. Uh, I used to just buy, you know, like big teasers and stuff, like mm -hmm. just playing teasers. I used to always just get that these teasers. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the egg. Yeah, so I used to always get these teas and then like buy fabric paint and then I was just like paint just like all types of things on the shirt. Mm -hmm. And then like, I would just do it for myself and then people started like knowing me as, oh, the fabric paint dude. And then <laughs> like, people started asking me for like, yo, can you make this for me? Can you make this for me? Uh, start paying me for stuff. So that's like my first experience of making money off of art. This is like uh, seventh, eighth grade. And then, yeah, uh, I met my graphics teacher in 10th. I think it was 10th grade, that's when I started like really doing graphics and stuff, started making logos for people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mixtape covers, you know, everybody in Atlanta raps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, and then, okay, then my business, me and my uh, business partner, we've been like best friends since like 7th grade, 6th grade, mm -hmm. and we always knew like, cause he used to probably, he started probably painting after like, you know, I showed him how to do it when we were young. Mm -hmm. He you know, we were friends when we were younger, y'all. All kind of do like the same thing, yeah, yeah. everything good. So then, like, uh, he was always like, Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, he was scared when we get up one day, we're gonna make money off of this. You know, I never take it seriously. But then one day, it was like after my freshman year of college at University of Louisville, I hated it. I hated Kentucky. <laughs> so I had to get out of here. I got back home, and then I was just like talking to my homeboy. He was like, Yo, we should just start this now. Like, why not? Like, we both got the money, we always working, we got the mindset. 
you know, the drive, determination, let's do it. So like we put together a business plan, went and filed for LLC, like we had everything. We, we planned for like six months before we ever like said anything, mm -hmm. people were releasing anything. We had like our whole website set and then like it was like New Year's Eve or like the day before Christmas, mm -hmm. we just dropped like these beanies and uh, yeah, people went crazy for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they sold out. And then we was like, yeah, like, let's keep doing this. And then it turned into it from a photo line to like, we started hosting art shows, then like skate competitions, started sponsoring skaters all over the world. Like we have skaters in uh, New Zealand, Scotland, Australia. We even like sponsor bands, we like send them out to shows and stuff like that. Get yeah, merchandise made for them and stuff. This band uh, based out in Scotland. Yeah, 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 and that's what it evolved to. It just like kept going and more. And now it's like at the point where like pretty hands off with it. I just let my business partner handle most of the things, but if he needs like design work or anything from me, he just comes to me or like, you know, we always make decisions together. And, but yeah, it's my baby. That's my mm -hmm. first baby. <laughs> yeah, that's how that got together. Okay. So explain your business. You said, um, you know, you guys were, well, you mentioned the bean, but is it just clothing you do or what all is it? Right, yeah. Okay, so first, the name is Enigami. I should have said that first. It's Imagine spelled backwards. So if you look at Imagine spelled backwards, it's Enigami. So, like, that's like, that was always our, uh, like, our business slogan. Like, nah, what's a McDonald's? I'm loving it, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was like Enigami, Imagine backwards. Like, just getting people to think outside the box. Oh. So, you know, think differently about everything, look at things with a different perspective. So, just Imagine backwards. You know, so. We uh started off with, we just started everything with clothing just to get people's attention. Like all of our clothing was like pretty extreme, lots of colors, like but it was like also simple. So the people were just like, oh yeah, this is dope. I can wear this even though it's a bright color. Mm -hmm. Like and then uh, so we were like we always knew we didn't want to just do clothing. So like as soon as we started clothing, like I said, we were planning for like six months before we launched. Mm -hmm. So um we dropped the clothing and then we started sponsoring some skaters. Our first skaters were in California and Arizona. Yeah, we had about three of them. And then like they started rapping out there. And what we did is like this was going into our sophomore year of college. So like we just hit up all our college friends, started telling them about it, and then having them become campus rep for us. So what they would do is like we would send them a whole bunch of merchandise. They'll table at all their college events, promo, promo and all that stuff, you know, go different places. Like so you know, this is like different campuses all over the, the United States. And we had like our friends, people who like are supporting us, like pushing it just as hard as we were. So that was like another way that we got things uh, spreading out. And then we uh, started hosting events, art shows, uh, like getting the local artists and local musicians, just all local art, artistic talent in Atlanta, and just getting them and having events so they could like showcase their work. Like I wasn't even putting my work into the art shows because it was all about, you know, other people at that point. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what, like that's what it's more about for me. Like that's why I, I care more about that than the clothing. Like I don't really too, too much enjoy like, clothing. I don't know. Like, yeah, I just don't get that much of a thrill out of it. But like I love I love doing that. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that in Charlotte soon. So After, this is my first event that I'm doing here. So mm -hmm. yeah, this is probably start doing more for other people within the next year. So what? What made you make the transition? Because I think of Atlanta, that's kind of like more people than Charlotte. So what was the major transition to Charlotte? Or did you feel like I wasn't, like you did all you could in Atlanta? Oh, no. I, I came here for school. Oh. Like that's really, I just came here. Like I did, I told you I went to University of Louisville mm -hmm. my first year. Didn't really like it. So went back to Atlanta and then I came here the following semester. Okay. And then I was like, the first, the, I was still like focusing on the business. So I was like, every weekend I was making road trips to Atlanta back and forth, mm -hmm. like still focusing on business and just throwing events. Like even up until like May, I was still, I still made trips all the way to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. My last up show in Atlanta was in May. But uh, then I was just, uh, I think I like started really, really doing stuff like about a year ago here. And I started like uh, doing a lot of shoots with uh, local models here mm -hmm. and stuff, uh, showcase some work and then talking to people, really networking. I'm more of a face-to-face -face communicator mm -hmm. than like the whole social media thing. If you look yeah. at my Instagram, I probably haven't posted it since like last year. But like, I'm more, I'm more of those people, like I'll come up to you, talk to you, like show you pictures of my work on my phone, build that, you know, personal connection exactly. so that when people do need some work, they'll think about the person that they met on the street before they thought, think about, you know, from somebody that they saw on yeah. social media. And they, and they have my card, because I personally hand it to them, so, you know, business cards. 
It's a good thing I have. You know? <laughs> but yeah, so that's our transition. Okay. Um, so, um, I know you, you know, you uh, do bio, is it biomedical? Bioinformatics. Bioinformatics. Yeah. So, do you feel like, I, I mean, we've talked personally about it before, do you feel like you enjoy the science more than the art sometimes? It's it's like I don't know man. I love like I love them both equally. Yeah, I get like the same thrill out of both of them. Like being in a lab and like creating something. It's just like creating something. Like you know, running an experiment, hoping to get a final product, putting all the pieces together, and then at the end and getting exactly what you wanted in the beginning. I love look at it all the same. Yeah, I have the same thrill from both of them. And then like I just have a natural inclination towards the sciences, and math. So. It comes easy to me, so like that, I guess that makes it easier to enjoy. Because <laughs> it feels hard, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what do you feel is like your ultimate goal with what you're doing from your business to your paintings for all different kinds of people? Oh. What do you feel like is like this is why, like this is why I want to accomplish overall, or at, or at the end, you know what? I mean? Well, I really enjoy doing events. Like, I, I don't know, that's a hard question to ask, but I really do enjoy doing events. So I know I will, I want to be doing like the type of events I'm doing right now on like a more massive scale and in multiple cities. Like I want to, I want it to be like a, like you know how they have the EDM festivals annually or stuff like this and mm -hmm. people already know like, yeah, like people are booking their tickets now for like Lola Palooza next year or mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, so I want to have like art shows that like, cause you know, there's not any famous art shows. It's all like music festivals, stuff like that. So I want to have like a, I'm trying to get like a really big music festival, like, and sometimes soon, like, but I want to be in multiple cities, like moving annually. So like, I, we're trying to get something by this year to start off in Charlotte, like we were gonna uh, block off the whole Noda area mm -hmm. and do like a huge music festival art show out there and like have all the galleries open for everybody. But you know, we were talking with the city and stuff like that. It just didn't end up, by the time we wanted to have it, things weren't gonna end up lining up. And like I said, I'm really strategic about things. I don't like rushing things. Yeah. I'd rather take my time and get the perfect thing. So maybe next year, yeah. But, like we're still working on that for like 10 minutes. So. Yeah, that's that's the plan in the immediate future for that. And multiple cities. <laughs> doing that in multiple cities. So with you doing so many different things, when do you have time to sleep, man? Uh not a oh, I, I'm lucky that I'm a person who doesn't need much sleep to like be good and run it through the day. But as you see, there's like a bed in my studio. I'll be like falling asleep sometimes <laughs> while I'm in the middle of pain. So I was like, you know, let me just put a futon in here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, but like, I sleep about, like, I'm good with like five hours, four hours of sleep a day. Like, I'm great. Like that's, you know, they say you need eight hours of sleep. Nah, I'm, I'm good about four or five. But like, you know, sometimes there's days where I like, I had not slept for like two days. But I don't know, you get used to it. <laughs> you used to it like it's that. Yeah, it it's the grind. It's like I'm like to the point where like if I'm not doing anything, I start like getting angsty and so like oh, I need to be doing something. Like I don't like this. Like yeah, I make sure like from the time I'm awake to like I'm going to sleep and like working on something, doing something. Like that's what it's all about. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I feel it. I feel it. So let's get into Kiva the person. So I'm gonna ask you some random questions just about you. So, so, so it. <laughs> ready? Yeah, let's get it. Favorite color? Gray. Okay. My floors are gray. <laughs> yeah. Favorite food? Hmm. Favorite food? Sandwiches. Possibilities are right endless. Sounds alright right, right now. now. It's art. Sandwiches <laughs> are art themselves. That's <laughs> true. Favorite music artist? Favorite music artist. Man. See, I have like favorite bands. I have favorite rappers. Bring them down, bring them down. All right, my favorite band, I'm gonna say two, it's probably a tie. Probably, it's a tie between Miami Horror and Sylvan Esso, which is, they're actually from, I think Daryl, right now, or Yeah, one of those. Uh, favorite rapper, definitely Lupe, since like, Middle school, yeah. My aunt came from like my aunt was from Chicago one time. She came and visited. This is like before Kick Push, 
is big and everything. She was like, yeah, this is a new rap area. But like, everybody's bumping. He's from where I like, she's from the side. So, like, she's from home. And, like, she was playing for me. And I was like, yeah, I like these dudes. Like, yeah. he's another person. He looks at the art as the science, his logic. And, like, everything he spits, like, he constructs his bars, everything, like, such a, you know, genius way. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. My dog's crying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> she misses me. But yeah, definitely Lupe. Uh, I love Asher Raw. Probably one of my favorite uh, bodies of work is Packed in Jazz by Asher Raw. It's like a jazz hip hop fusion album. It's amazing. I, like, I really love jazz. Like, I play saxophone. I play saxophone So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I play saxophone and piano. I play like instruments. Yeah, yeah so. How long have you been playing instruments? Sixth grade. So what's that? I was, how old was that? Sixth grade, 11, 10, 11? I don't know, 20, so like 13 years? Yeah, 13 years. Yeah. That's like, the, like my, my, my musical talents are like the most kept in. <laughs> like I don't ever share those talents with anyone. Like, yeah, I just play when I'm at home just chilling. I'm, I'm like Squidward. You know how Squidward just is in the house playing his clarinet? That's me. I'm in the house playing my saxophone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day I'll drop a body of music. <laughs> Favorite person? <sighs> That's crazy because I watch so many cartoons. I watch cartoons more than I watch like real people on TV. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge anime person. Um, I'm gonna have to say Goku, Dragon Ball era though, like young Goku. Wow, young Goku. <laughs> yeah, he was a savage man. Uh, either him or uh, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. My brother tried to watch that show. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's a, it's amazing. It's a, yeah. probably top five. I didn't even talk about it. Top five. Yeah. Oh, and then. <laughs> There's this other anime called Soul Eater, and then there's this like uh, weapon. It's about like weapons and take souls. There's this weapon named Excalibur. He's probably my favorite animated character ever. He's like not even in every episode, but whenever he got onto the screen, like I just got happy. It's just <laughs> hilarious, man. I love that dude. But yeah, I should probably get him tattered on one day. <laughs> yeah. Favorite TV show. Give me the all-time. separate from like uh, cartoons, right? This is separate from cartoons. I'm gonna separate it because yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna separate it. That's too easy to pick from. Uh, favorite TV show. Give me all-time, then give me, give me like your, your current favorite. Okay, all right, I can do that. Uh, let's see, all-time favorite. Damn, that's hard. I love Californication. That's a good show. I love Californication. That's like, a good show. <laughs> that, like that's one of those shows. Like I was always like I could remember like just having an itch. Like man, I feel like watching Californication. I don't get that feeling for a lot of shows. Yeah, I get it for anime and cartoons, show. but not like like I said, I don't watch too much like actual TV. I like that. I like Weeds too. It was, it was, it was, uh, long. It was long. <laughs> See, I like those like long range shows like with story and everything. Like I said, that's my favorite part about film. Just knowing the beginning and the end, like most filmmakers know how they want their series to end before like they even start shooting. Mm -hmm. So I just love that, just the journey in between, and they feel things in the beginning, like in the middle, like to just. But yeah, uh, Californication Weeds, The Wire. Uh, yeah, that's probably all the. And then right now though, currently, you know, I'm comic book nerd and like. All the comics are getting TV shows now, so I'm like all on the Flash, Green Arrow, uh, like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, like Marvel Shield, uh, anything that's like a comic book, that's a TV show. I'm I'm, I'm watching it. <laughs> that's like pretty much. That's like it though for, for like live action TV. Yeah, because yeah. it's still kind of like fairy tale ish, you know, sci-fi. Yeah. Right. So man. On the show, man, I'm just gonna say it's great. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to Ashy. You know, you shout out your things out for. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I probably won't post on there for like another few months. Uh, <laughs> is that find Ash K, F I N D A S H K. 
Snapchat, Action Creator, Creator with a K. Um, what else? Uh, Twitter, find SK as well. And yeah, my, oh, my website is creativegenius.com. Creative with a K, genius with two E's. Um, yeah. Foodsofallabor.net for the event. So, I mean, website. Yeah, shout out to Vibes too. Shout out to the Vibes people, you know. Appreciate y'all coming through. Hope to see y'all at the show. And future success to everything y'all doing, man. Yeah. VZ underscore Vibes, you know. Hey, VZ underscore Vibes. Check them, check me. Get right. Put some color rays on VZVibes.com. I dig it, man. I dig it. Be out. Be out of here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this all come from? Oh, hey, this is my baby. This is my baby. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs>